Hey guys, welcome to Star Wars 101. Today we have a 5 fact video on an interesting Jedi named Yariel Poof. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, then make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this Jedi. So with all that said, let's dive in. Number 1. He, like all Kermians, had 4 arms and 2 brains. His upper arms would usually be visible, but he did have another set hidden under his robes. Due to Poof's additional limbs, he was very skillful with his hands and was able to smell with them too. Like I said before, he also had a second brain. As usual, his first was located in his head, but the second was inside his chest. With his very long body, Yariel would stand about 3 feet taller than a normal human. Number 2. He didn't like using his lightsaber. Poof obviously, along with most other Jedi, knew how to use one in case he ever needed, but he was more of a diplomat and a teacher, rather than a fighter. Although, Poof was extremely talented at Force Illusions and the Mind Trick, and preferred to use these in a fight before using a lightsaber. This means he might instead avoid a confrontation altogether by influencing his attacker to stand down before he even made a move. However, when using a lightsaber, he was a very dangerous opponent. His long, flexible body made it easier for him to perfect techniques others could not. Number 3. He practiced battle meditation. If you don't know what battle meditation is, it's a skill that strengthens your allies' will to fight and builds their confidence, while destroying the enemy's will and confidence. This was one of Yariel's most powerful skills. He would often use it as an alternative to violence. However, he did have his own unique way of using the ability. Rather than slowly deteriorating at the enemy's will, he would project illusions of beasts or overwhelming hordes of soldiers in order to strike great fear into his opponents. Number 4. He liked to teach students at the Academy on Coruscant. He taught many things such as the Jedi Mind Trick and illusions. Although he was a master at the abilities, he cautioned his class and gave many lectures about how it could affect others in a negative way. Poof's lectures were so popular that one of them was even recorded in the Holocron of Osley Crimson, which I have a video on if you want to check that out. This device was kept in the temple after it was created by Osley Crimson, and many Jedi including Poof and Dooku would have important lessons recorded on it. Number 5 Yariel Poof and Jango Fett teamed up. Mace Windu informed the Jedi Council he had heard of a threat that required immediate attention. A general named Ashar Korda was part of a reptilian species called the Anodet Prime. The Jedi learned that they were planning on attacking either Alderaan, Corellia, or Coruscant with an ancient artifact called the Infant of Shah. It came from the planet Salat and could destroy an entire planet. The Council sent two of their own to both Alderaan and Corellia, while Mace Windu volunteered to protect Coruscant. Though, Yariel asked if the Council would let him watch over Coruscant, since he was better at pinpointing disturbances in the Force, which the artifact would project. The Council agreed with this. The Force guided him to Coruscant's central power generator, where he found a Shar Korda with the artifact in hand. He was ready to use it when Yariel demanded that he hand it over. At almost the exact same time, Jango Fett and Zam Wessel barged in and told Korda to give the artifact to them. They quickly realized they would do better working together and formed a team. They killed all of Korda's followers and wounded the reptilian himself. After, Poof took the artifact and began to study it. While distracted, the injured general rushed up and stabbed him in the heart, which he only had one of. Jango and Zam blasted him until he was dead for sure, and then ran up to Poof. When they reached him, he pleaded with Zam to give him the artifact. Since he would die anyway, he used the last of his strength to fuse the object's energies back to a normal state, saving trillions of lives before he died. So there you have it, 5 interesting facts on Yariel Poof. If you guys enjoyed the video, like I said before, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Other than that, have a great day.